シーパーピーパーピーパーピーパーケーパーサーサーパーセーワーデード Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. Now, first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that Jamaicans, they are outraged. The family member of that lady that lost her life, she and her four children, they are outraged. They are disappointed because they said they thought that Mr. Roshane Barnett was going to get the D E A T H penalty. However, The DPP, Paula Llewellyn, she did an interview and she kind of tried to explain exactly what is going on because it seems as if persons are still confused and asking, how is it, why him never get the DEATH penalty? However, people, here's the thing. Based on the laws in the books of Jamaica, in other system, if Somebody is held, I've done something like Mr. Roshane did, and then them get whole, and them carrot go a trial. And the DPP, the prosecution, sought or seek the DEATH penalty. If this man went through the process, got convicted, found guilty, he would be eligible. To get the D E A T H penalty at sentencing. Also, this person will also have an option of appeal and then probably an next appeal, Privy Council. After he exhausted all those appeals, then he could then be sentenced to D E A T H. That is the only way. However, in the case of Roshin, his lawyer, Mrs. Harris, she advised him, listen, you see the next time you go to court and them ask you if you're guilty or you're innocent, say you want to plead guilty. Say you want to say how you do it. So therefore, you might have a chance of not getting the DEATH penalty based on the rules and laws of Jamaica's system. So therefore, when he plead, the DPP, the prosecution, was obliged. They had no choice than to accept. Now people, remember, this is based on the books. The laws in other books, in other countries, The DPP, the prosecution, district attorney, if she knows and have full confidence that, listen, this is a slam dunk case, this is an open and shut case, even if the jury has smoked C R A C K, laced with lizard tail, laced with mod P U S S P I S S, them still can't find this man innocent. Slam dunk. However, people, here's the thing. In Jamaica, the DPP has no choice but to accept. So therefore, decline was not an option in the books. So therefore, when the judge realized, say, all right, the DPP did and will and had to accept, he could not then, at sentencing, even though the crime was serious, Even though it was despicable, he could not go out of line and still take it upon himself and do that because he knew that, listen, the lawyer for the defendant in appeal, there would be more than grounds for appeal and even worse, this man couldn't probably walk on some sort of technicality, people. I am not sure about that. Don't quote me, but me just as say. It had to be accepted. The DPP was obliged. They had to accept. So therefore, I say this to say that unless Jamaica changes the law and say, listen, the prosecution, 
don't have to accept. They can decline. Them can say, no, sir, me I carry this straight to court. I want the book. I want this man to get the full brunt of the law based on him taking away these five people. Juke, juke them up and bust them short. So, people, it is as simple and plain as that. So, therefore, now there is clarity. Because, people, with Sissy, when this was, when this just happened, people are say, people are mad, people are say, Russian had a B U T C H E R from hell. So, therefore, him forgets the D E A T H penalty. However, people, like me say, he was properly advised. And once he was properly advised and he accepted, and he went to court on the first option and he pled. Now, people, I am not saying that this man confessed because pretty much him try to blame the people and say, are them rush him, are them disrespect him. So, therefore, had the books, had the law not been the way that it is, the judge could have said, but this man is not showing any sorts of remorse. This man is beyond rehabilitation. This man is a spawn of the devil. So therefore, this man should be put to D-E-A-T-H. However, people, that was not the case. So therefore, that is exactly what happened. Point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, people, we have to give members of our military team, JDF, and the security team, JCF, full credit. Because they have a very dangerous job. Every day that they go out there, they are putting their lives on the line. There is no assurance that they will make it home. And people, such is the case in one Mr. Mullins, Corporal Mullins. Now, based on information, it is said that Thursday night going Friday morning, there was all sorts of loud explosion in a place called Third Street in a trench town, I think. Don't quote me. So, of course, you know, the poor, poor, them have them jeep, them have them lorry, them have people, they pan job, so therefore, they have to respond accordingly, even though them know say is a volatile community. Based on the information that they were getting is that all sorts of gang rivalry, so therefore be very careful. So the poor poor them roll up on the spots, enter one premises, one yard. Soon as them shoot the gate, peer pie pie, people start blaze up all sorts of corner for them. Of course, you know the script. Poor poor. Dress back, wheel and pop off, let off couple rounds. After the first smoke, initial one clear, Mr. Mullins was hit and an unidentified man was also hit. It never stopped this up. Later on, same thing, confrontation once again. A next man can up, don't know his status. I think he also lost his life. So therefore, two, G-U-N-M-E-N, and one poor poor. Now, people, can you imagine the poor poor here? These set of people, waste people, I try to take away each other at each other's neck. So, therefore, because them know, say, well, that is my duty, even though as some waste man, I waste can, I waste them life. There is also innocent people living in these communities and they need the assistance of the poor poor. So therefore, they have to go in. However, a poor poor would lose his life. So people, what this shows us is a level in which crime has gotten in Jamaica. Where some poor poor with all sorts of rifle, all sorts of shooting experience, are going to be challenged by a set of thugs. So what do you think they think about you, the average person, the average Joe, the average Jane, that is unarmed, don't have any sorts of experience, living in fear, we are like a lamb to the S-L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R, point blank and P.
period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is Carl. At the same place where him K I L L last week, at the same place where him D E A D this week. I am speaking about a man that used to live on Darling Street, operate crime on Darling Street that is in Westmoreland. He is now living in the afterlife. His name is Javan Brown. Based on information, it is said that last week, Mr. Brown took away a lady life. He was on the poor poor wanted list. The poor poor them plan an operation. You might be familiar with it. It is called Operation Relentless 2. It is yielding all sorts of success. A whole lot of gunmen, a whole lot of bad man, wanted man, I lose them life or I get lock up. The poor poor went on an operation. When they went on this operation to apprehend Mr. Brown, they alert him, listen, surrender yourself or else you are going to be D-E-A-D-I-N-G. He must have thought that it was some sort of bluff. He overestimated himself and underestimated Operation Relentless. Two, he was putting up a resistance as if he had danced to the very song. However, he was dancing to the tune of the devil. There was some sort of S-H-O-O-T out between members of the Paw Paw Force and Mr. Brown. After the smoke clear, there was one victim. One person top out. One person was out of here. Don't call emergency vehicle, call the paramedics. They took him to the place of recovery. However, it was not to be. Mr. Brown pretty much bites the dust. The poor post said the SSP for the era, he made it very clear. And that man's name is Mr. Wayne Joseph, SSP, Senior Superintendent of Paw Paw. He said that, listen, whenever we come for honor, please comply. Do not give us a hard time when we are apprehending you. Just surrender to the right thing, especially when you realize that you are sur surrounded. Because people remember, the poor poor went on some sort of operation a couple of years ago and they were caught off guard. They were surprised, they were shocked and awe. So therefore, since that, they are not going to make the same mistake twice. So therefore, they might make it very clear that, listen, we're on a life-saving mission. We are on a mission to rid Jamaica of crime and violence. However, whenever you don't comply, the life that you don't save might be yours. The life that we are trying to save is going to be ours. So therefore, we are looking out for numero uno, number one, that means in English. And that is the poor poor. We are trying to save our life. And if it means... Taking away your life as a substitute in the process, so let it be. Amen. And people, such was the case as it pertains to Mr. Brown. Thus, the same place, Darling Street, in which him take away a lady life last week, this week, him lose him life. People, is it coincident or is it karma? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, straight on title, no sorts of beating around the bush, show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And people, word to the wise. Whenever you are making any sorts of strive in life, whenever your thing is up there, and people see that, your ceiling is in the stratosphere. And they realize that, listen, we don't have the talent or the ability. Our ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. They are going to do everything that they can 
to bring you down because that is the only way that they can feel as if they are up. Point blank and period.